lightweight division belt. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. So here he is, the former UFC and WEC, and now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So at least on paper, even match up here, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. How about some Bruce Buffett? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division, introducing host. Fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist, a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Franklin, Tennessee, Merciless. There you go, quick run, you ready? Are you ready? Go, and we are ready for live action here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. That is famous for that title winning. Easy showtime kick that may very well have won him the fight against Ben Henderson in an amazing five round event for the last WEC lightweight title. As a background in Taekwondo initially before he started practicing Muay Thai under Duke Rufus. And a lot of times when you see that, you see those Taekwondo guys have just a bit more leg dexterity because they throw so many techniques with the, with the legs. Takes a lot of practice to make a jab look that easy. Lands flush again. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. The right hand just misses. Good punch. These guys are swinging. He's fainting with that kick. Block that kick to the body. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Right hand upstairs. Watch this shot, Joe. Oh! He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. The left hook hits home. Beautiful right hook. He is getting off some huge punches here. left hand oh very nice oh blocks that kick to the body joe and he connects there vicious kick to the body by pettis anthony pettis with another hard kick to the body oh absolutely joe these body kicks are significant strikes you're starting to wonder how much more he can take body kick now by pettis he's landing some beautiful kicks here on his opponent Ooh, well-placed kick. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Pettis gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Again, going back to the well with the jab. Pettis gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Landing a good series of strikes here. Whoa! This could be it right here. 30 seconds to go. Oh, he might be out. Big, big body shot. shot. Body. Both guys landing big shots. Body kick, look at that. Vicious combination. Oh, oh big left oh. hand. He's a big, big shot. Second round, straight ahead. Oh, right, so there's oh. the horn at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, he will live to see another round. You 
saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Definitely gonna want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Inside leg kick. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Couple nice body shots there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. And an inside leg kick. Pettis is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. How about that chin? Damaging strike there. That punch, no good. Caught him with a punch. And he lands it to the leg. Ooh, working well off of that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Pettis gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. Good right hand, that's what I'm talking about. And now he lands a combination. Oh, very nice. And we got a fight on our hands. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Nice leg kick. Pettis landing some vicious body shots. Oh, absolutely, Joe. I mean, at this point, these body strikes hurt to watch. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. That one hurt. Finds his range with the jab. There's the kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. The kick gets through. He avoids the clinch. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Tagged him with the right hand there. And both guys really throwing with authority. But again, lands with the right. Also, he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Tags him. Nice le left kick to the body. And avoids the clinch. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Oh, oh big shot. Round number two. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. And let's take a look at that from a different angle. Last round here. Do not let this go to the judges. You've got to have faith in your strike. Brittany Palmer is here as we... There we go, final round, you ready? You ready? Let's go! Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Man, those body kicks really starting to take their toll. Look at that bruising on the right side. Good punch. Oh, and 
and he lands yet another strike. To oh! Back. He's in trouble, he's in trouble. Oh, the and six is out. It. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Yeah, Joe, this fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And you want to credit the offense and not denigrate the defense, but he did not get the guard up. And against this type of striker, you are absolutely playing with poison. So a near-perfect kick spells the end of this one here tonight. And here's the end. Let's look at it from a different angle. And here we see it again. I mean, just stiff. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time.